Hey Chami Lovers, this is another tutorial brought to you by Business, the company behind Camilo. Um, and in this tutorial, we're going to see how to actually create courses because this is one of the most basic features uh, to use from the Camilo LMS system. So LMS goes for learning management system and so it's supposed to manage learning okay so basically it's it will help you in the management of the different courses that you might teach with your institution or personally uh installing camilo is quite simple you can see another tutorial just uh, around this one that will help you uh, finding how to install or going through the, the installation process uh, if you have your portal installed then you can just enter in this case we're gonna enter as administrators uh, the teacher will we're gonna use it as a teacher but um, just for the sake of simplicity and because we only have created an administrator user so far we're gonna use this administrator user to create the course so I'm sent to the administration tab but that won't be the case if I'm a teacher if I'm a teacher I'm gonna go to my courses and in my courses i'm going to find a block on the left side that says create a course so i'm just going to click this uh, block and i'm going to say i don't know maybe i want to give a course on uh french speaking basics okay so because this is a french speaking basics course i might want to like give a a very deep immersion to my students and I can choose the language um, of the course in this case I disabled in a previous tutorial I disabled the uh, all the other languages than English so I don't have an option but if I if I enable the French language again then I will have a drop down selection language box that I will be able to pick French from and then once I enter the course, everything in the interface will be in French. Okay, so th this is a particularity of the, um, the Camilo platform. You can choose the language in which your course will be shown. Uh, for the course code, I'm going to put French 101. So if you have a code, use it. If you don't, don't put anything in there. And then the system will generate a, a code from the title. Uh, because this is a f the first course I'm going to create, I'm going to click the fill with uh, demo content. And if I have other courses on the platform, I can also use another course as a template. So I can say, okay, I have a, I can create actually a template course for French courses in general with all the documents, with the right headers and that kind of stuff. And then afterwards, I can create other courses that will just be based on that course and we copy all the content that was in this template course in this case i don't have any course yet uh, on the system so i'm just going to leave that empty so i just filled the title and selected fill with demo content the code wasn't required so i could have uh, just put the title and that's it in this case i wanted the demo content so i clicked this option create this course and then this will uh, generate the course structure it will generate a folder in which the course will be placed and then we're going to have something like this because we selected the uh, fill with demo content option we have a small introduction section here otherwise we would have a uh, an empty text so just let's check what it looks like when we don't have demo content uh, i'm just going to delete that section there we go just refresh and this is what i would see as a teacher if I didn't uh, click the fill with demo content option and in the course itself so I have an introduction section here that I can fill with HTML with um, I can I can put a YouTube video for example uh, let's let's see I have a, a URL on another page with a video from YouTube so we're just gonna check the YouTube option which is this icon here I'm just going to paste, oh sorry, not in this one, paste the, the URL and I'm going to make it responsive. Okay, so once I do that, I just insert the video, save the intro text and once I reload the course itself, I'm going to have that video, that YouTube video inside the um, course itself. Okay, so depending on 
what I want to do with the introduction to my course. I can put videos here, I can put a slide share presentation, I can have uh, any kind of embeddable uh, content, I will be able to put it there. Uh, in this case, we use the specific YouTube icon. There's another icon to import pretty much from any type of uh, known website that provides embedded content you can see here youtube flickr kick vimeo ulu and that kind of stuff okay so we just paste the url select a few options there and you'll be on your way with the with a great course introduction um i'm going to leave it empty for now Basically, if you don't like the icons of your course, you can also click this option here and you can customize any icon, just replace it with uh, an, an another similar icon with the same size and it will replace this uh, tool icon inside this course. If you want to do that globally for the whole portal, then you will have to do that through the style sheets that you will upload to your portal and not through the course itself, okay? um good so basically once you're inside your course you have this introduction section we already talked about the authoring section which has 10 different tools that allow you to provide content uh, or prepare content as a teacher for the management of your class then you have the interaction tools which are more oriented to towards having interaction with the user so you have the chat tool the form tool the groups tool which is something that allows you to make small working groups inside uh, the classroom so for example group for the your students four by four um, you have different wiki, the wiki option and that kind of stuff. And then you have an administration section, which allows you to manage your course really, I mean, track, track the progress of your students through the reporting tool or change the settings of your course and see or, or configure which kind of messages you want to get on which updates that of the, the different things that happen in your course so if a student sends uh, um, an answer to an exercise or an exam for example then you will get a notification by email that kind of stuff you can configure here if you want to change the title of your course or the language of your course you can change that here as well the backup um, option allows you to backup content of your course and also copy one course to another uh, that kind of stuff so it's very useful uh, as a teacher you probably th the first actions that you're going to do are probably to upload a few documents uh, or create your own documents and then create some tests okay this is these are going to be the items of, of future tutorials but basically if you want to know a little bit more there's a documentation from a previous version of Camilo that allows you to understand how the documents tool and the test tool f work. Um, so once you have built a little bit of content through there, you might want to structure that content to present it to the users in a compelling manner. Uh, this will be done through the learning path tool. So the learning path is mostly a tool that allows you to combine content from other tools and just make it nicely presented for the users okay so if we go very quickly to have a, an overview preview of what a learning pass is so let's say that this is the chapter one you would just click continue and then we don't have any documents so we're gonna create a new document and we're gonna say okay this is the introduction well, it's actually not the it's actually not the introduction but rather the the title page okay so let's say uh french basics okay um understanding words whatever okay you can change the logo here that's just an image we can upload another image here um and then once you're okay with that you set a title here you make you made sure that the current folder was the right one so in this case it's chapter one but you can create subfolders with this option you just click add this document to the course 
and this document will be added if you want to preview it with, as a student you can just click the this icon and you will see the document as a student okay um, the mobile view of that works quite well as well so if you want to get rid of that column on the left side just click this button and you will get a full page view of uh, the document that you created once you have uh, finished the document you move to another document this will be checked as already uh, approved or reviewed and then you can see a progress here you can see the 100 percent progress um, these options will won't be visible for the student obviously but that basically that's the presentation that the learning path will have for the students okay so this is it for this uh, short tutorial uh, in the next tutorials we're gonna have a deeper look at how to create students Chamilo, une solution business